The sound is so appalling. I'm so sorry. We're going to go to a break and sort out this technical glitch. See you in just a couple of minutes. I'm so We're having a few problems at the moment on ITV1. We'll hope to fully return to this morning as soon as we possibly can. In the meantime, here's some music. We're having a few problems at the moment on ITV1, but hopefully return to this morning as soon as possible. We're having a few problems at the moment on ITV1, but hopefully return to this morning as soon as we possibly can. We're having a few problems at the moment on ITV1, we'll hopefully return to this morning as soon as we can. You're watching ITV1, we're having a few problems at the moment with this morning. We'll hopefully return to the programme as soon as we possibly can. This is ITV1, I'm pleased to say we can now rejoin Philip and Fern and this morning. Well, welcome back. I'm awfully sorry, but unfortunately, we've had a major problem with our uh, just put back on again. our desk, our sound desk this morning, which has uh, just had to be completely. We've rebooted the entire studio, so I'm terribly sorry about that. Welcome. Well, I'm very sorry. We appear to be having a few problems with the programme. We're looking into it and get back to you as soon as possible. Well, I'm very sorry. We're still having problems with the programme. We are doing our best to sort them out and get back to the, pro to the programme as soon as possible. Well, once again, we're very sorry about the loss of Hell's Kitchen. We're doing our best to sort the problem out. We apologise again for the loss of Hell's Kitchen. We're doing our best to find out what the problem is and get back to you as soon as possible. Well, we're experiencing some technical difficulties here at ITV1. We're very sorry. We're doing our best to sort them out and we'll back to you as soon as possible. Well, we apologise again for the loss of Hell's Kitchen. This is due to technical difficulties beyond our control at the moment. We're still looking into it. Well, we apologise again for the loss of Hell's Kitchen. This is due to technical difficulties beyond our control. We're doing our best to sort it out, so do stay with us. Well, we're very sorry for the loss of Hell's Kitchen. We are experiencing considerable technical difficulties. We're doing our best to sort it out, so do stay with us. Well, we're very sorry for the loss of the programme, but we are now able to return to Hell's Kitchen. However, the system will continue to play the game on the website and winners, that's you lot, will be notified by email, which is great. Uh, so we're going to take a short break to try and fix the studio problems and hopefully continue with the rest of tonight's games as soon as possible. So stay tuned. I'm going to get a little bit comfy. There you go.
Now here on ITV1, I'm pleased to say that we can rejoin Bingo Night Live. I'm sorry to say that we're actually having a few technical problems with Bingo Night Live at the moment, but we are working to fix the problem and get back to the programme as soon as possible. Due to technical difficulties being experienced, I'm sorry to say that tonight we are unable to bring you Bingo Night Live. Now here on ITV1, I'm pleased to say that we can rejoin Bingo Night Live. So I don't stand for <laughs> <laughs> I always get it. Yeah. But you can still vote, you know. You yes. can still give us two cr Davina McCall, like you never s so few gremlins in the works on Channel 4. Very sorry about it. We're trying to sort it out as quickly as we can. And we'll be back with Paul O'Grady as soon as possible. It is live, so anything can happen. And it has, in fact, happened. We uh, can't go back to Paul just yet, but we're hoping it won't be very long till we can rejoin him as quickly as we can. So, once again, uh, many apologies for the uh, problems we're having here on BBC One just at the moment. But stay with us uh, very shortly. The weakest link coming up. So, now on BBC One, it's time to join Anne Robinson and the weakest link. Uh, yeah, I'm doing uh, um, 30 nights, 1,500 miles cycling around Britain. Uh Well, really sorry about this. Clearly we're having some problems with something for the weekend at the moment. Let us sort that out, and hopefully we'll return to the programme in just a few seconds. In the meantime, here's some music. Well, unfortunately, we're having some technical difficulties at the moment here on BBC Two. We're doing all we can to correct the fault, and hopefully we'll get back to something for the weekend very soon. Please stay there. If you're wondering what's happened to something for the weekend, uh, you haven't missed it. We've got a technical glitch at the moment here on BBC Two, preventing us from uh, showing that to you at the moment. Hopefully, we'll uh, have some good news from our engineers very soon. Stay there. Once again, really sorry, but we're having some technical problems here on BBC Two. We're still hoping to uh, have it fixed for you very, very soon. We shall be returning to something for the weekend in the next few moments. Well, sorry about this, but as you can see, we're definitely uh, suffering from a technical problem here on BBC Two. Our engineers are working on it now, and uh, we're hoping to rejoin something for the weekend in the next few moments. Once again, really sorry, but our uh, technical problems continue for the moment here on BBC Two. Nothing to do with the clocks going forward. I'm pleased to say we should hopefully get back to something for the weekend in just a few seconds' time. Please stay with us. Well, it's one of those rare moments when technical problems mean we're unable to show you something for the weekend at the moment. I know it's a pain. We are doing everything we can to uh, get back to the programme. Uh, in the meantime, put the kettle on and uh, hopefully we'll be back in just a few minutes' time. Good morning, this is BBC Two. We are sorry for the break in uh, something for the weekend. We are doing our best to correct the fault and uh, fingers crossed we will be getting back to the team very, very soon. Again, our apologies for the technical problems here on BBC Two. Thanks for bearing with us. Some good news now. We can now return to something for the weekend in just one second.
Yes. They got one in Japan, actually. Really? There you go. They got a club where there's just vending machines and no bartenders. But you can uh, say excuse any me, Dave. I, I think we lost our viewers for a while, and uh, and they're back with us now. I tell you what, what you've missed is <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, look what I killed during Dictionary Corner. <laughs> also this week. Well, apologies for TNT ending so abruptly, but we will be back to normal programming as soon as possible. We hope it hasn't spoiled your enjoyment too much. Next on 4, it's Darren Brown. And once again, we apologise uh, for the loss of TNT show. Uh, we hope to be back to normal programming as soon as possible. This is Channel 4, and as you can see, we're having some problems with uh, the TNT show. Uh, we hope to be back to normal programming as soon as possible. As you can see, we are having some problems with the TNT show. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the little four flying about there because uh, it'll be with us for the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, coming up next, we've got Darren Brown. And once again, apologies for the loss of the TNT show. Once again, our apologies. We are still experiencing a few technical problems at the moment, but we have engineers working on the problem right as we speak, and hopefully it won't be too long before we're back to normal. Once again, apologies for our technical breakdown. We're still experiencing a few problems, but hope to have things back up and running just very shortly. Well, new window looks good. Yes, it does. Ben is understandably really nervous. We're not even sure if he's going to do it. Um, he doesn't have the best track record, does he, in tasks? But take a look at... Oh, of all the times to go. Sorry about this. We're trying to get Big Brother back as soon as we possibly can. Well, apologies again for the break in Big Brother tonight. We need to put some uh, cash in the electricity meter. We'll get it back to you as soon as we possibly can. Well, apologies for the break in tonight's transmission. We look as if we're trying to get some power back and we'll hopefully return to Big Brother as soon as we possibly can. Apologies again for the break. We're going to try and get back to Big Brother. Is understandably really nervous. Thank you very much for all of those. Have a great weekend and a safe one. Bye yeah. night. Thanks for watching. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye. Now. Well, I'm really sorry. We're having a few problems here on BBC One at the moment. We'll hopefully be along with the One Show in just a couple of minutes. So now on BBC One, it's time for this. It's very early in the morning, don't you? As does Andrew yeah. to check all the sheep to make.
Well, I'm sorry. We're having a technical problem this evening with Lambing Live. This is BBC Two. Do stay with us and we'll try and get the programme back on air for you. This is BBC Two. Many apologies. We're having a slight technical problem this evening with Lambing Live. We're working on the situation, hoping to get the programme back on air as soon as possible. This is BBC Two. We're working on the situation. We're currently having a technical problem with Lambing Live. It seems the weather has been giving the technical crew some difficulties, so stay with us. We're trying to remedy the situation and hopefully we'll be able to go back to the farm in Cumbria. Stick with us. This is BBC Two. Hoping to go back to Lambing Live as soon as possible. Do stay with us here on BBC Two. As I've um, said a few times, we're having a little technical problem with Lambing Live this evening. Stick with us, we are working on the situation and hopefully we'll be able to go back to Cumbria and see more of the action from the farm. This is BBC Two. Many apologies. Uh, unfortunately, we can't return to Lambing Live at the moment. But in the meantime, uh, while we try and sort the situation out, we're going to bring you a coast. Well, I'm very sorry. We're having a technical problem with our coast program at the moment. We're hoping to get back to Lambing Live as soon as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, do stick with us here on BBC Two. Sorry for the problems that we're experiencing this evening on BBC Two. Once again, do stay with us and we'll hopefully get something back on air for your viewing pleasure as soon as possible. We're having quite a night of it here on BBC Two. Many apologies for that. We are working on the situation and hopefully we'll be able to go back to Lambing Live as soon as possible. BBC Two, do stay with us. Once again, we are working on the situation. We're currently having a technical problem with Lambing Live. Understandably, it is a live program. They are having a few difficulties with the weather. So hopefully, they'll be back with us soon. Well, good news now here on BBC Two. Thank you for staying with us. I'm getting the information that we can now go back to Lambing Live. Here we go, stand by. What did you say right at the beginning of the opening of the show? We've been battling the elements. We Goodness didn't realise we were going to be battling them quite this much. I'm so sorry. Now, BBC Two and the BBC HD channel at the proms. Katie Derham presents tonight's concert experience from the Royal Albert Hall. Well, apologies for that. We're having a slight difficulty bringing you tonight's proms. Do stay with us and we'll get to it as soon as possible. It is just a few days since Britain passed the Olympic flag to Brazil. Seven Seas Cod Liver Oil Range proudly sponsors the ITV National Weather. We're having a few problems here at the moment on ITV1. We'll be back to normal in a few minutes. So we're having a few problems here at the moment, but we will be back to normal in a few minutes.
Seven Seas Cod Liver Oil Range proudly sponsors the ITV National Weather. Now, for sorry about the technical problems, but we're live to a real bank deep in the city of London. It's brand new. It's The Bank Job with George Lamb. You can play along online at channel4.com slash bankjob. And as it's live, there may be some strong language. Barn owls, one of Britain's most popular birds, to one of my favourites, a really dashing little falcon. And fortunately, someone has sent in a rather attractive still of this. Oh, Jack that's Barnes. A good photo. Well, I'm sorry we've uh, lost the programme. Autumn Watch has just disappeared. We seem to have lost the link, but we'll go back to it just as soon as we possibly can. Well, once again, our apologies for the loss of Autumn Watch. We'll join the live programme again as soon as we restore the link. Well, I'm very sorry. We're having some difficulties with Autumn Watch. Uh, we are going to return to that programme just as soon as we possibly can. Well, the reason we've lost the programme from Autumn Watch is that they've lost power at the outside broadcast. So uh, while we try and find somewhere to put our 13 amp plug, uh, we'll continue to play you some music. Well, I'm sorry, we're still not able to go back to Autumn Watch. Uh, we are having some difficulties with that because of the loss of power at the outside broadcast location. Uh, so we'll see if we can find something else to bring you. This is BBC Two Scotland. We're apologising once again for the loss of Autumn Watch. As I said, we've lost power at the outside broadcast location, which means no pictures. And uh, for the meantime, we're not quite sure when we're going to get the power back. So uh, in a moment or two, hopefully, we'll bring you something else. Well, I have to say things are looking a little bit more hopeful because we managed to restart the generator out at the outside broadcast. Uh, which is good, obviously. So, uh, as soon as we get the pictures back, we'll bring them to you. Well, in the hope that we get Autumn Watch back shortly, for the meantime, we're going to bring you an edition of Coast. It goes up to 1.75. It's a very, very small increase in risk. Um, now, the interesting thing about this paper is it's the biggest one um, a collection of uh, scientists. Um, we're sorry for the disruption. We're working hard to fix the issue over at ITN and we'll return to the news as soon as possible. We're sorry for the disruption. We seem to be having a few problems at ITN. We're working hard to fix the problem and we'll get back to the news as soon as possible. <laughs> We're sorry for the disruption. We're working hard to fix the issue at ITN and we'll hopefully be returning to the news as soon as possible. We seem to be having a few problems at the moment. We're working hard to fix these and we will hopefully get back to the news as soon as we can.
We're having a few problems at the moment. We're working hard to fix these and we'll hopefully get back to the news as soon as we can. And we're happy to say that we can now head back to the news. Apologies for the problems we are clearly experiencing this. You're watching Channel 4's Stand Up to Cancer Night. Well, you should be, but due to certain reasons beyond our control, uh, we're unable to bring it to you right now. Sorry about that. If you flick over to Channel 4 HD right now, by the way, you'll see, well, exactly what you're seeing here, but in glorious high definition. Bear with us. Uh, we look Well, our feed from Stand Up to Cancer is taking slightly longer to be fixed than we'd hoped. Sorry about this. We are working flat out to get it back. There's quite a lot of people running around in the room next to me, all shouting a lot while I try and retain this illusion of being a calming sort of presence for you. As soon as we get it back, you'll be the first to know. is easier said than done. Pink or black, none of them going to the left corner. So obviously comfortable with the situation. 30. Well, I'm really sorry. We seem to have lost our live coverage of the Crucible there. Hopefully back to the programme as soon as we can. Well, again, our apologies for the loss of the live feed of the snooker. The World Championship at the Crucible in York will hopefully return to our live coverage here on BBC Two as soon as we can. 